What is up guys, welcome back to Mr. Tech Boss. As you can see, I'm running the latest version of Havoc OS and this came about a day and a half or so ago. I've been running it for like a couple of hours now. So let me firstly show you all the basics. But before we get started, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. And if you want to buy any of my products, do use the links down in the description because I've linked all of my products down in the description. So without any further ado, let's get right in. All right, so guys, if you go into about phone, as you can see, a see Linux or status is enforcing. And if you go into Android version, as you can see, it comes with the latest security patch and it comes with perf kernel, which means that it'll offer a best per best battery life if you want a bit of a smoother performance i recommend switching to immensity but if you want battery life because it is already pretty smooth then i recommend sticking with perf kernel but other than that i'll also show you guys does it pass the safety net and the answer is yes it does if it doesn't pass for you you have to go into settings and then just enable magisk hide or where to go hide magisk manager and also use magisk hide this one so yeah that is probably going to fix uh and allow you to use banking apps if you do need to use them but yeah what is new in this update so let's get on to that all right so firstly if we go into display and then anti flicker mode let me actually turn on do not disturb so these notifications don't annoy me all right so if you go into anti flicker mode it does actually work i have tested it so you shouldn't have problems if you are actually if uh, if it uh, if the flicker does affect you at low brightness but it doesn't personally affect me so yeah that is pretty much fine but the biggest change for this update was the in the change log it said improved fod or fingerprint on display a lot and it said nuked flickering however if you do have anti-flicker mode on it will still flicker when uh, turning on like the when unlocking with fingerprint so if i actually turn off anti-flicker mode this flicker should be gone now and yeah as you can see it's pretty much fine but yeah the anti-flicker mode is fine and the flickers are minimal or at least if you have anti-flicker mode turned off also guys if you like the video so far please make sure to subscribe and drop a like because why not i it really i really appreciate that but anyway let's move on so now let's move on to the customizations if you go into configuration center as you can see there are a bunch of options so let's start from the top and if we go to status bar it has a bunch of options like just regular customizations but yeah these all work at least so far i mean at least what i know of but yeah so as you can see there are a bunch of options also if we go into lock screen again there are a bunch of options oh and let me show you guys fingerprint uh screen off fod so let's see if it works so as you can see it is indeed working without any problem and let's actually see the recognizing recognition animation so if we go here Cognition animation you cannot change it. This is the only one. There's only one option so you cannot change that now if we go into ambient display Here as well. There are a lot of options But there isn't the option like raise to wake so that option isn't there and you can also change the brightness of Always on display now also if in buttons there are a bunch of options here as well So customizations really shouldn't be a problem at least on this Wrong. and if you go into uh, notifications as you can see there is edge lighting as well so yeah i recommend keeping this on but at the night like during night time just turn off turn on do not disturb so it doesn't just light up during the night time that just wastes a lot of battery and um, now if we go to uh, battery saving there are a few options here as well now you do have it says here smart pixels but it is not here so i don't know why it's there but yeah now talking about the rounded corners they are actually jagged so let me actually turn this on dark mode off and if i decrease the brightness and turn this off i can actually already see they are a bit jagged and these toggles aren't working so yeah i can confirm that this uh, does not work as of right now as of this build now uh, in animations there are regular options i don't really change this stuff and in miscellaneous there is gaming mode as well and um, adaptive playback and now moving on to performance this is pretty much on par with like every other long say evolution x it's nothing too special nothing too bad if you guys do like a uh, geekbench score rather than 2 to score do let me know in the description so from the next video or so i will add it on my videos but yeah now let's quickly do a uh, fingerprint test and see how fast it is so if we're opening it's pretty fast at times but at like sometimes when you have night light on sometimes at night it is a bit 
it does struggle sometimes but for the most part it should be fine sometimes it's like as you can see right now it's pretty fast but sometimes it is it does struggle to unlock but yeah you shouldn't really have too many issues with fingerprint on this ROM now uh, let's quickly do a super fast app opening test where I in the first round I open the apps slowly so let's open the apps and as you can see I there are no frame drops obviously this is not me UI so let's quickly open them and obviously it's pretty smooth you shouldn't have any problems multitasking and you shouldn't see frame drops really to be honest but yeah now if you obviously have a Redmi K20 Pro and you're watching this video I'm sure you want VO Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi calling working and I'm glad to say it does work on this ROM so if I call say example Airtel or I don't know why I've named this but whatever as you can see it is calling Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi so yeah you shouldn't have any problems and I haven't noticed any bugs so if you want to use an ASP ROM this should be a great option unless you want some ROM which is um, customized or looks different and then you have some other options and also guys this thing uh, this ROM comes with by default with the ANX camera and yes it is the newest ANX camera so yeah that is a great addition I don't know any other ROM that has this camera now about the battery life it should be pretty good because it's using perf kernel but if you are having battery life issues i recommend not using microdate or any backup and just clean flash the rom format your internal storage if you do have any battery problems now also if you go into battery usage i don't have a lot of stats but you should expect around 10 hours at least of screen on time on normal usage obviously without gaming if you do add gaming obviously it will decrease significantly but yeah other than the battery life, there is not much to say. If you guys do, if you guys are still watching, that is amazing. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe. But yeah, if you do have any questions, leave them down in the description below. And if you want me to talk about any specific things on my in my videos, do let me know. But yeah, if you're still watching, thank you. This is Salam from the Tech Boss, signing off.